Real quick before the video starts, I'm going to be doing a live stream on Saturday on the 9th of this month at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, where you guys can come tell me some channels I should check out to critique and poke fun at. It could even be your channel. As always, it'll be for fun and not taken too seriously. We're just hanging out, having a meme time. Be there, or I'll steal your Legos. Anyways, on to the video. Hello, people of the internet. My name is Combat Wombat. You know, I hate math just as much as the next autoerotic fanfic writer. I was never very good at it. I'm what you might call a dumb. Not my favorite subject, to say the least. Well, according to some people, not only is math the most unsexy school subject of all time, the source of many trials and tribulations, and the reason why I am afraid of numbers, to this very day. No, no. Math is also discriminatory and racist, apparently, because I guess everything is these days. Why not? What's next? Pillows? Grass? Tony the Tiger? We're going to be taking a look at a Fox News clip where a woman talks about how oppressive and racist math is. Also, fair warning, the clip is in like 240p. It looks like muddy dookie water. I couldn't find any footage that was a higher resolution. You can send me the bill for the eye surgery. The opposite of Donald Trump is an Asian man who likes math. Andrew Yang. That man is a snack. If you don't know about him, Google him. He's amazing and needs to be president. I love him. Yes, in that way. Andrew Yang may want to rethink that catchphrase because apparently math is racist. Well, Mr. Water, you say that like it's a shock to you. Like you've never seen how judgmental and prejudiced math is. I mean, I only passed geometry in high school because my teacher felt sorry for me. He pitied me and my lack of math skills. If that isn't oppression, I don't know what is. Seattle's public schools are considering a proposal that would mix social justice in with math. That's like mixing dog farts and cow manure. Why would you do that? I can think of at least 50 different reasons why that is a terrible idea. The first one being that kids already hate math. Wait until you give them all Fs on top of telling them that they're racist. Great idea, Seattle. Including studying how math has been appropriated by Western culture and that math itself is racist. I mean, the earliest use of math was the Sumerians back in 3000 BC. They aren't exactly around anymore, so I guess everyone appropriated math. But you know, people love to say that the United States appropriates everything, as if only the US appropriates things. I'm pretty sure everybody does it. And Alessio Parson is a sociologist and educator. Look at her. You can tell just by how she looks down, slightly smirking, that she is about to completely roundhouse this guy into oblivion for even daring to challenge her opinion. All right, so, and let me, let me just see where I'm confused so you understand what's going on. I am bad at math, and if math is racist, then I'm also white. Does that make me too dumb to be racist or not racist enough to be good at math? Not racist enough. Jesse, that's such a long conversation. Um, first of all, remember <laughs> Dr. Delessio Parson? Yes, Dr. Um, Parson. So please don't ever refer to me by Anne, but I appreciate it. See, that's a supreme master gamer level tactic there. Avoid answering his question by telling him you don't like him saying your name and prefer to be called by your doctor title. A bold move, for sure. Okay, tell um, me why math is racist, doctor. Yes. Alright, I can't wait for this doozy of an explanation. I expect to have my mind blown. So, you... It's funny, on November 6, 2016, I was at a conference on statistics, and I raised my hand, and I was like, are you telling me statistics are racist? And that was, what, almost three years ago? I was really confused when I asked the question and spent years reading about many different things. Um, have you, Jesse, read Native Son, which I gave you last time we met? Wow, screw me with a cucumber. None of that in any way, shape, or form answered his question. Dr. Ann, what does a book have to do with math being racist. I don't get that one. What does that have to do with, is math racist? So the critical race theory and is a framework for understanding the world that helps us understand that this entire country is racist, right? Oh, you made me spit out the hot dog water I was chugging. What? 
He asks how math is racist, and you answer by saying, this entire country is racist. No, I don't think it is. I think that racism is not a widespread problem for the most part in this country, all things considered. People love to blow it out of proportion. It's not nearly as big of a thing as it was 200 years ago with slavery, and in the 40s and 60s with civil rights. Racism of all kinds exists, sure. But to suggest the entire country is racist is a gross over-exaggeration that has no evidence behind it. We have a white supremacist caste, racial caste system in the United States. What? Do you even know what a caste system is? I, I don't believe you're a doctor. There is no way. Dr. Lipschitz, we do not have a racial caste system of any kind in the United States. A caste system is a class structure that is determined by birth. That is the definition, meaning that if you're born poor, you'll stay poor. It's a requirement by the government. You cannot circumnavigate a caste system. The United States does not have a racial caste system. Anybody of any race can get any job in this country and achieve whatever they put their mind to. Obama was our president for eight years. Are you telling me that was the result of a racial caste system? Do you think before you speak, or do you just say what you feel is the truth? Also, what does this have to do with math? Wait, 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 can you just stop on, for one second? Right? Are you saying that all yeah. white people in America are racist? Yeah. Slap me with uncooked ham and push me into a garbage compactor. Why do people like this get to be on TV? You know, if these kinds of people had more than two brain cells to rub together, they would know that saying someone is racist no matter what because of their skin color is a racist thing to think. I am too. Sometimes it happens. Like right now? So you're that racist. Happened? You're a racist. Occasionally, it happens. How? I usually apologize it when I, I realize it. I highly doubt that you're racist occasionally, Anne. You probably think that opening the door for a person of color is racist. So you just assume that anything you do is racist and that you have to drop on your knees and beg for forgiveness. Is it? How are you a racist? Um, what do you think makes think you of... superior? Jesse, that question doesn't make sense. You are not a doctor. No. If you are a doctor, then so is Mr. Snuffleupagus. There is no way you are a doctor. This man just gave you the definition of racism, the belief that you are superior to another race and discriminate against them, and asked, how are you racist given that definition? And your response? Jesse, that question doesn't make sense. <laughs> Yeah, maybe if you don't know what racism is, it doesn't make sense. What am I saying? You've already proven you don't know what it actually is. You think there's a caste system in the US. Well, isn't racism the belief that one race is inherently superior than another race and then you discriminate against other races? Yes, that is the definition, but I can tell by the look on her face she's about to take a hot, wet, steamy Taco Bell dump on that idea. That is a piece of racism, but you gave a definition that's really old, um, and language evolves over time. Oh, so the meaning of racism has evolved, has it? I mean, I guess it has, seeing as literally anything and everything is racist now. Okay, and race but, and right. white supremacy. At what are race and white supremacy today? Yeah, okay. They are structures that affect us all. Nope. Maybe I'm not cultured enough to know, but I have never been affected by white supremacy. You would think I would, seeing as it affects us all and I am supposedly a part of it. So people do things that are racist all the time, myself included, because we don't realize that's happening. Wow. I was right earlier by saying that she thinks anything is racist. Simply because we don't know better. Don't talk down to me, Dr. Anne. By your logic of saying that we don't realize it, I can do this. Hey, viewer, you're now my girlfriend, even if you're a man. Surprised? Well, you are my girlfriend now. You just don't realize that you are. You just don't understand it. It's true. You see, the meaning of words changes over time, so Girlfriend really means any person currently watching Combat Wombat's YouTube videos. So I'll pick you up at 8. Okay, like microaggressions. Okay. Oh god. Of course she uses microaggressions as an example of how we're racist without knowing it, somehow. You see, 
A microaggression is like the example I gave earlier in the video. Holding open a door for a person of color, manspreading, things like that. Small, innocuous things that you wouldn't think offends people, offends people. If you even explain something to a woman and you're a man, it's called mansplaining. I'm not joking. Microaggressions, fine. I think we're getting sidetracked a little bit, Doctor. Explain how math is racist. I still haven't really understood the premise from you. Yes, please, finally. Well, the first premise, the first starting point that we have to get on the same page on is that we live in a white supremacist racial caste system. Eat the nearest source of ass you can find. No, I'm not going to agree with you on that. You're essentially setting up a straw man in a way by saying that because all of America is racist, math is racist, because everything is. You're trying to make an argument by setting up a scenario where your argument cannot be wrong, but you have yet to make your actual argument. Tell us how math is racist. But it just explain, because okay. we're running out of time, Doctor. How is yeah. 2 plus 2 equals 4? How does that discriminate against... One stick plus two stick. Humans were like, hey, here's a stick, here's another. I, I just did some math. That was not racist. Then what is your point? Humans have then used math and numbers and statistics in all sorts of ways, from counting black and brown bodies as they made them property and brought them over to these lands. Oh my god. You have got to be paying a fat man to sit on my face. I do not believe what I'm hearing. So because over 200 years ago, people counted the number of slaves they brought to America, that makes math as a whole racist. Wow. Just, wow. To more, to more recently, scholars who said that white people were more intelligent than people of color, that's called scientific racism. Glad to know we have different kinds of racism. Scientific racism. Oh boy, I have never heard that one before. Um, that's, it's like something deep in our brains. It's hard to recognize, and that's why it requires time, Jesse. And there you go again, talking down to him, and by extension, us, like you have any idea what you're talking about. This entire thing has been a travesty. You should be embarrassed. I, okay. I asked your question, well, just and it because took me people more than three years to get here. With slavery, does it make counting racist? You understand? Something can Absolutely be related not. to each other, but not a causation. You understand what I mean? Do you understand what statistics is? I'm sure he understands what statistics is, but I'm pretty sure none of us understand your point because it's stupid. Anyways, after this, Waters takes a dump on the entire conversation and ends it, which I don't blame him. It was a bunch of incoherent ramblings, honestly. So, let me know in the comments, are you convinced that math is out to oppress people? I'm convinced. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to go football tackle a praying mantis now. Have a good one. And a huge thank you to my channel members and Patreon sponsors. You guys keep this channel trucking along and it means the world. Thanks. Don't forget, I'm live streaming on Saturday at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Make sure to be there, cuties.